It was just like a moment. It's just they come and they hit you. And you're like, yeah. what happened here? You know, what am I doing? Where am I going? And I still feel like that. I still feel in limbo. You know, even though I'm not settled in yet. You know, and then I think about whether I'm ever going to feel like I'm settled in. The way on the streets is the most violent person is the most respected person. Like I was willing to run around with guns at 15, at 16. I used to carry guns all the time. I used to sell drugs. I used to mess with several different women all the time. You know, I litigated my own case. I'm ready to go home. Woke up the last 20 years knowing where to go, what I had to do. Just as scary as going to a new prison, if not more. And I know how to adjust to that. Um, right now, I don't know how to adjust to what's out there. This morning, I caught the bus for the first time. You could see that I was really going through an anxiety attack. You know, I was like, I wanted to run back so fast. My daughter was eight months when I left her. It is my fault because I chose to live my life the way I did. My daughter, she's like hello big now. Make sure she knows that I'm her father. You have to work, you have to pay bills. Yesterday I went to clean a yard up. People could say, I, I can imagine how it feels. I, I can really say that they can't. You know, I mean, it's like going to outer space and trying to figure out how do I breathe up here. I met some girl, she likes me so. <laughs> but you're being charged with imprisonment. Instead of kidnapping and stuff is more serious. I just got a letter from my lawyer the other day. She's basically saying that she's trying to get me back into prison, get me back locked up. So we get together and I go back to prison. You're not going to stay with me. You're going to leave me. For a person to just get out of prison, you have to switch your mind. You're here now, what are you doing now?